Hey Beatrix, have you heard about the swine flu roadblocks and vaccine checkpoints that the benevolent governing powers are planning to unveil? I'm not surprised. Ever since the World Health Organization declared a full level 6 pandemic I knew we would soon witness the suspension of the genuine amendments to the Constitution. Say goodbye to privacy, due process, and the right to defend ourselves. I see that as a real possibility. The government's overreaction to the outbreak has been to spend tens of billions of dollars to provide and enforce mandatory vaccinations. How alarming when the new virus has actually been very mild. They make comparisons to the 1918 Spanish flu, but they did not have modern hospitals, where intravenous fluid exchange is possible and actual cause of death can be determined. Most individuals died from complications, and not the flu itself. This is why it is necessary to get enough sleep, exercise, and alter your diet, to boost one's immune system. Most people have no idea that they are critically low on vitamin D in their diets. Vitamin D is produced naturally in reaction to sunlight. Step away from the computer and take a stroll around the block. It could save your life. I asked myself recently what the most unique right of American citizenship was, and I imagined that it must be the right to be left alone, and, therefore, the right to not be vaccinated. The government does not own my body. Many states are announcing that it will be considered a crime to refuse to follow health official orders. They will seize your property, confiscate your children, and put you in jail without evidence of a real crime, and without hope of speaking to a lawyer. You can expect your complaints to fall on completely deaf ears as you are being transported to a quarantine facility. Sadly the government isn't allowing us to SIRQ, which is self-imposed reverse quarantine. They truly must believe that we the people should not be making this decision ourselves. It is probably not a coincidence that the end of the federal fiscal year and vaccine availability are mere weeks apart. Many expect a true unraveling, in full public view, will soon occur. They will tell us one thing to keep us calm, and then continue to act in a way that demonstrates their true intentions. It will be like sitting in a theater that is on fire and they tell us to remain seated, even though we are choking from smoke inhalation. Even now they are pulling over drivers with politically dangerous bumper stickers, and accusing them of terrorism. How much longer will it take for people to realize that our concerns are being ignored? And that's what the Founding Fathers warned us about. Lucky for rulers, that men do not think, was what Hitler said once he was in power. If the American people understood the true nature of central banking there would be a revolution before morning. The international bankers have enslaved humanity, by collecting interest payments on money, that didn't exist until a loan agreement was signed. Without debt the banking elite have no control. The dollar, unleashed by fractional reserve banking, is truly a tool of death and destruction, that has used military forces, to conduct enormous control of most of planet Earth. You are starting to sound like the tea baggers, truthers, birthers, tenders, and canned food hoarders. In a time of universal deceit, telling the truth is a revolutionary act. They will school you, and call you names. We must end the Federal Reserve, as soon as possible. The longer we wait the more carnage we will see. Yes. The international bankers knew about this all along. They are using the swine flu scare as a cover, to take the nation into martial law. They are losing control and their schemes are being brought out into the sunlight. The voice of the people will be heard, and their consent to be governed is being withdrawn. And now China is announcing the end of their support for the international banking cartels. A trade war is beginning, because the Chinese know they have been deceived by the bankers, that control most of the financial system through the Federal Reserve. It is clear, that mainstream media distracts the public and reinforces heavy addictions to previously unimaginable vices. We have witnessed the willful ignorance, and even defiance, of our countrymen to comprehend the fate that awaits them. They devise convoluted names for criminal operations, that are designed to bleed the American Republic dry. All these bailout programs, TARP, TALF. By the way, what used to be called the War on Terror, is now entitled Overseas Contingency Operations. It seems to be Bush, Act 3. The Mona Masters have always been incredibly skilled at using words as mechanisms of manipulation. These words are weapons of mass confusion. No wonder seemingly smart people fight back and forth about powerful political parties that are essentially a destructive two-headed puppet. The American education system has developed into an expensive investment scheme wherein the participants are led to believe a diploma will guarantee them prosperity in the real world. In practice we can see this as foolish. Taken to the extreme we can view it as a scam. So many young individuals saddled with such incredible debt loads that have yet to even begin a career. Our false sense of prosperity is coming to an end. Why pay workers more, when you can lend it to them instead? No kidding. 
Once the Schumer hits the fan and your average American cannot buy junk food and watch Comedy Central it will be like a zombie movie. Except that we will be running from autistic gangs of scavengers that voluntarily took the experimental swine flu vaccine. And this toxic poison is being shipped worldwide. If only everyone knew about that important website of flucase.com. It is amazing that vaccine producers are immune to liability lawsuits. If it is so safe, why the legal protection? The government is training military troops and health professionals to flag and detain individuals that object to being forcefully vaccinated. It must be for my own good. I can't think of a more reasonable reason for corrupted corruption. What's next? Do we find out these guys are also Satan worshippers? The international bankers certainly do have plenty of free time. My personal plan is to bug out to the Rocky Mountains once the critical services begin to break down. You may call me a nut, but after Hurricane Katrina I just don't have faith in the government being capable of feeding millions of people. When the illusion of the dollar finally fades people will start to realize how thin the veneer of civilization really is. People think I am paranoid, but that doesn't mean our leaders are suddenly exempt from human history and incapable of becoming tyrants. Can people not see that our society is crumbling? Prudent individuals will have a backpack ready with basic survival supplies. Food, water, a tarp and a warm sleeping bag. A bicycle will quicken your journey and a LED flashlight should be used sparingly to avoid unwanted attention. The people of Paris fled from their beautiful city like rats swimming from a sinking ship when they realized the Nazi armies were at their doorstep. It is fascinating that within weeks they returned to the city as refugees because they had no plan to feed themselves. If you want to get out of Dodge you better have a plan to avoid a calorie deficit. Otherwise you are just a caveman trying to keep your campfire burning. Nobody really likes to eat grasshoppers and poison berries. And the modern day breadline, food stamps, might not show up in the mailbox next month when government offices start closing down. They have military troops ready to seize key infrastructure points. Maybe they think a starving citizenry will actually get off their knees and realize their duty to alter or abolish the agreement made with the now vastly corrupted branches of the government. The federal government is bribing states to exchange their sovereign power for money that was originally theirs. What a laughing stock the uninformed American public has become. Yes. The now unvirtuous United States is not a capitalistic system anymore. Basic free market principles, property rights, and the right to enjoy the sweat of your brow have become warped, circumvented, and scapegoated for what is actually corruption. Where are the prosecutions? They must be too big to jail. Is it not obvious that the casino stock market is now the primary indicator of false American prosperity? The only money really made on Wall Street is insider trading. And fraud is only a crime if you get caught. For some reason people pay attention to apologetic economists when they should have listened to real finance experts. Economics is based on supposition and human choice. Finance is hard math. And unless you went through the public school system you know that the math doesn't lie. People joke in Asia that even their pet could get a credit card and a mortgage. Even street vendors avoid dollars now in Asia. How can you expect something like that to go on and on without a day of reckoning? Put down the self-help books and realize that elaborate plans to destroy your prosperity and well-being as they are not matters of mere conspiracy theory in this time of disruption and upheaval. What a joke. Only bankers are laughing. Tell people that are running out of unemployment insurance that things are getting better. The inmates are running the asylum. We are just beginning to see the effect of this new virus and the greater depression getting ready to shift up into second gear. Israel and Iran going toe-to-toe -to -toe and Pakistan being collapsed to extract resources. Horrific narcotic wars and increasing ransom kidnappings are only a symptom of the true disease. It's like there is a flock of black swans circling around us up there in the sky right now. This is all putting me through violent cycles of incontinence and constipation. Get bullets, beans, and band-aids before it is too late. What about precious metals like gold and silver? Well, silver is extremely undervalued in comparison to gold and once I'm confident I can feed myself and loved ones in a safe location, I'll be ready to invest in wealth preservation assets. Oh, I know exactly what you mean by assets that protect wealth. One is my shotgun and the other is an AK-47. Thomas Jefferson once said that the beauty of the Second Amendment is that it will not be needed until they try to take it. Mullen Labe. I do not suggest you try to come and take them.